They say you are what you eat, so I don't eat chicken feet. But I love me some of Grandma's pickled beets. Well, cut it up, put it in the pan, throw it over your shoulder and see where it lands right here in the farmer's kitchen. Baiters, taters, beans and corn, the cows in the barn and the sheep's been shorn, kids in the barnyard chasing Grandpa's chicken. Chicken, chicken. Spices, slices, cuts and dices, gonna slash your grocery prices right here in the farmer's kitchen. Help you grow your garden good with recipes to suit your mood. Try some grub you've never tried before. Smash it with a wooden mallet, gonna educate your palate. Right here in Farmer's Kitchen, in Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. We're gonna cook something good now. Funding for Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen is brought to you by... Harvest Energy Solutions, Harvest Cabins, when you absolutely have to get away. The city of Stanford, Kentucky, come back home to Stanford. Woods Equipment Company has every tool you need to make working the land as rewarding as hunting it. Good Foods Co-op, Marksbury Farm Market, Weisenberger Mill, your village shop. Hello and welcome to a brand new season of Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. That's right. You know what? Fall is upon us. I love the weather. The weather's hopefully going to cool down very shortly. You know, we uh, we went through the experience with an injury or two. Right. Yeah. And we had to heal up and, and we finally, uh, we had a vacation plan and the doctor says, just go. Right. Don't do anything. Well, we almost didn't do anything. We went on vacation. You know, something, since I was a little kid, when Dad had in the closet these records from our Papa Rex, he said, now don't play those because they don't belong to me. They had moved and they had left a bunch right. of records and they were Hawaiian records. And I would listen to these magical music of slack key guitar. Look that up if you've never heard of that, and ukuleles and steel guitar. And I was so fascinated by the very thought and the concept of this beautiful island and the palm trees. It's, it was such a, a magical place to me in my mind. And then the food and the pineapples mm -hmm. and all the influences that came in. Now, we didn't do this vacation in a showy manner. Hey, look at us. We're going to Hawaii. We needed to rest. Right. But we do find as we get older that each trip we learn about cultures and food. And there's, so, there's such an influx of cultures over there. We took one of the simplest dishes, which we're going to make tonight. The basic part of this is ground pork and eggplant. Yummy. Japanese eggplant. Mm -hmm. Now you could do this with zucchini or yellow squash. We're going to make that in a little while. What about the people? People are wonderful. They're very quiet until you talk to them and then they just hover, they're all over the place, all over you. You know, it's, it's, it's that way. If you yeah. initiate the conversation, right. they are so sweet and open and they want to tell you about right. their island. They want to tell you about their food. They want to tell you about their culture. It's fascinating. And they can cook. They're so, they take oh. the weirdest things and bring them together and make amazing. Mm. Put some of the best food ever. I think I gained, I gained a little weight. Did you? And I don't like it. Well, yes. Okay. We both gained weight. And okay. you know, the way, <laughs> well, you look, you go to a farmer's market and there's all these fresh vegetables yeah. and all this fresh food. So we ate good. We did eat good. But when we wanted to fly, do a little helicopter ride, we got the cheap one. Yeah. To the crater, which we got messed up by weather. They asked for our weight. Right. Well, the weight we told them on the <laughs> phone, and when we got there and stepped on the scale, was a little bit different. I was very upset. I didn't like it. So, anyway, we did eat good, and we brought back several recipes that are very relatable to here. Just a very simple sweet and sour chicken that we're going to do in the very near future. Now, one thing you might notice about this particular show. You better be nice. Is. You know, you're, you're mm -hmm. on a weight, weight restriction. You can only lift so much, but right. the camera fell within that weight restriction. You could lift two pounds. That's right. So you did a wonderful job. Thank but you. it's going to look a little more like home video Next than Next time, let's we'll take Kelly with us. Yeah. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is if the audio or the video doesn't look like our normal show, it's because it was basically vacation. Right. I tried my best. I did. Shots. I'm not a professional, but I thought I did pretty good. But let's leave on a jet plane don't know when I'll be back again. Okay. You remember Sounds that good song to me. from the 70s? I do remember that. Here we go. Song. Hello and welcome to Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. We're on Harrington Lake today. Boy, the tide wow. is up. I like Harrington Lake. You know what? As we get older, when we travel around, 
our trips turn into searches for food. Mm -hmm. But here we are on the Big Island. Woo. Beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's our favorite island yet, and we got some food, wonderful, wonderful recipes, quick yes. and easy and tasty. There's the best food ever here. People are amazing. The way they cook here, love it. I found out about one restaurant from a Facebook friend. Paul told me about the fish and the hog. He said it from ever on the big island to come over, and guess what? We did. So we opened seven years ago in this little t country town of Waimea. It's cowboy country up here, so we thought uh, when we were thinking of a concept, barbecue would be great for up here. Um, we try to use all local products when we have brisket in town or when we have, you know, all of, we order from all the local fishermen. We go to the farmer's markets. We're down-home gourmet comfort food. So it's slow food, served fast, uh, but we take care and pride in everything we do. Hi y'all, from your, to the folks in Kentucky. And anytime you visit the, visit the Big Island, come by and, and try us at the Fish and the Hog. I think you'll love it. How you like it? Oh my, they're taking mm. pineapple, mango, some other things. This is the sample. Wow. This is real, really good. Here in Hawaii, it's really hard to, um, we don't have a lot of barbecue over here. Uh, there's a lot of people that grill, but there's not a lot of restaurants to eat at. So our barbecue sampler platter, uh, we have, we do our own pork ribs in-house, baby back ribs, um, the local source beef, brisket when we can get it, and uh, then our pork butts. And uh, so that, that's kind of a unique thing to find here in Hawaii. And then uh, our sauces have a unique spin, you know, with the Hawaiian flavors. We use the Lee Moy, one of the barbecue sauces. It's kind of the unique Hawaiian spin on what we do. Paul, oh, my Facebook friend. How's it, Tim? We're coming to the Big Island. We're so excited. Because everything we do in our travels now is, seems to be centered on food. Yes. We have a lot of different cultures and they all mix together. We all love Korean food. We all love Japanese food. So teriyaki, kalbi, all that stuff is like uh, comfort food for us locals. The, the influence is like this yeah. phenomenal. So yeah, all the mixing pot all together in one. And then we all, it seems like we just all, you know, we all kind of mesh too. Even Spanish, Portuguese is real strong here in Hawaii, real strong. We love our sausage. Like me, local boy, I'm not Portuguese. I love my Portuguese sausage. Malasadas, gumbo, all that stuff Portuguese people bring, you know? Just try to put out the best food that you're gonna, you know, you're gonna be all, you're gonna feel like you're at home. Like you're gonna get Hawaiian paralysis, like you wanna sleep after, you know? Facebook, the power yeah. of Facebook. You I know, up. Tim, thank you so much Come for hitting me up, bro, for I'll real. Say, that's it. Paul, we'll be there. All right, thank you nice so much, Tim, awesome. Yeah, all right, thank can't so wait. Much. Awesome. So what do you think? Delicious. I mean, I'm full and it's still good. I keep eating. You know, we have been all over this island and we've tried, I don't know, how many different kinds of food. And I do barbecue. You found barbecue. I found some good barbecue. That's good. The fish in the hog. Now one thing about Hawaii that is fascinating is the nature. So I took my little camera and I took all kinds of pictures of little lizards, geckos, birds on the cliffs, beautiful sunsets, sunrises. I'm telling you, it'll take your breath away. You really need to go. Save your nickels and dimes, go to Hawaii. Now, we have learned over the years that now that the kids are gone, we prefer a little privacy people have homes that they would like to rent out. They help pay their mortgage with these vacation homes. So look on VRBO wherever you travel, if it's in the States, abroad, wherever, VRBO. We found this place, this beautiful, wonderful place, right on the Pacific Ocean, for as cheap as you could stay in a motel. So let's talk about what we see at every farmer's market, Japanese eggplant. Now, this recipe right here, is absolutely wonderful. It's very simple. It takes about 10 minutes to make and it just has a wonderful, wonderful flavor. And it's so, so, so easy to make. So basically you need pork, you need a couple of Japanese eggplants, thinly sliced, 
These are small onions, so we'll probably cut most of that onion up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut our eggplants up real thin. We're gonna put those in a pan with oil. We're gonna take our onions and turn them over, get them nice and brown. At the same time, we're turning our pork over. We're gonna get it nice and browned. Then we're gonna combine those two. Then we take all of our wet ingredients, we combine those together. Four tablespoons of brown sugar, four tablespoons of soy sauce, one teaspoon of sesame seed oil, two teaspoons of ginger grated. Now when it comes to your spices, your chili sauce or bean sauce, let me tell you what, you might wanna go one and a half, or you could go two. Depends on how much spice you like. Put that in, stir it up at the very end, the last couple minutes, put in your cornstarch and water and thicken that up. A tablespoon of cornstarch mixed with three tablespoons of water. But let me tell you what, it is absolutely delicious. Now, I wish you could smell this. Now, at any grocery store in your Asian food section, you can find all kinds of wonderful things that could change your life. You know, you think you can't make good tasting food. Anything that you get at a restaurant, you can make that if you look it up and you research it and figure out what you gotta use. You might be surprised at the whole new world that will open up to you and your senses. This is delicious, it is so easy. I can't even explain to you how good this is. I'm gonna get Nikki out from behind the camera. These videos that we've made while we're over here, as you can tell, they're pretty um, homemade. This is homemade video. This is vacation video. We're not supposed to be working. Nikki was supposed to be resting, I was supposed to be resting. But the food markets, the farmers markets, the different places and the wonderful people we met over here, we had to get some cameras. That camera's only two pounds that she's holding right there. So she's allowed to lift, <laughs> she's allowed to lift in. All right, now she's gonna put that camera down. We're going to a one camera shoot now because she is gonna come over here and try some of this with me. All right, now we had this the Whoa. other day. We don't ever make anything that we haven't tried. It's really good. This is so simple, but it's so phenomenally Delicious. good. Delicious. You have the sweet, and you have the spicy, and you have the pork, and you have the eggplant, which changes consistency now when you look at it. And it's got a unique flavor of its own. You have the, you can taste the ginger, all these flavors combined. Mm, that is so good. That's like something from a great Thai restaurant. You did great. I'm telling you what. We're coming back loaded with some recipes that are not unique to any particular culture or place. There's stuff that you'll like in your kitchen. Well, we're digging in, aren't we? Good food here. Yummy food. Mm. On the Big Island, people were friendly. Mm -hmm. The folks we ran into, in fact, let's go visit a place right now where we met some folks. We were just driving around mm -hmm. and we were starving, just we wanted a snack. A snack, that's right. <laughs> so we drive up to this place, we look up and it says Hawaiian nachos. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. So let's go visit our new friends right now and have some Hawaiian nachos and a Hawaiian burger. Yummy. We're known, we're known for our famous Hawaiian nachos here in Hawaii, which was created by one of my daughters. Um, my oldest daughter is Aloha, my youngest daughter is Lehua. It's homemade one ton chips with kalua pork, with lomi salmon and our chef's secret sauce. We opened our restaurant about two years ago and in 2013, there was a first annual food contest in our district, in our community. So we entered and we won the overall judge's choice and the overall people's choice for the Hawaiian nachos. Hawaiian burger, it was one of my creations. So it's a bun with lettuce, kalua pork, with a grilled pineapple, with a whole pound of lao lao on top of it. And lao lao is spinach with salted pork and we steam it for six to eight hours in a steamer. They're gonna find me in, in a little town called Pohoa, right on the big island, right after the farmer's market, right off of Highway 130. This is pot. Have you never heard anybody call this pot? No. 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 So does it sound funny when we call it pop? Yes, kind of. You call it what? Soda. Soda. It's pop. <laughs> pop. Pop. 
Yeah, we call it soda. I don't know why. <laughs> but it's just always been that way. Have you come to Kentucky? Mm -hmm. What if we say soda? Would they get no, confused? Get. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> don't listen to it. <laughs> Wait. What? It's like, we just like, pop over here means music. <laughs> Music, it means music over here. So we climbed off the plane, jet lag is real by the way. Oh, it's awful. Rested like a half a day and went to the state fair. That was fun. How do you know you're back? You're back because we're at the <laughs> state fair. I love the state fair. And we met the nicest people there. Let's go right now and see if we can find us some health food. to Kentucky State Fair. Why? Because we want to. I'm hungry. We do what we want. That's right. <laughs> you know what? Look how huge this place is. This is the South Wing, and we're here just to hang out. If we see some of our friends, we'll talk to them, but we're looking for fair food. I want to eat. Because I've heard it's healthy. That's right. <laughs> Let's go see if we can find something. This is David with Hillbilly Gourmet. I'm looking around here. When I was a kid growing up, on every table, and every meal, my papa had something pickled. And I'm looking, of course you got honey too, you got everything. Man, I might have spent some money. Tell me how this whole thing came about and where you from? Well, from right here in Louisville. So we started looking to our old family recipes and looking in and found all these recipes and we started. Wait a minute, old family recipes, Bloody Mary mix? Absolutely. I want to hang out with your family. Hey, what, what, well Kentucky, <laughs> what's Kentucky mean? That's what I'm Bloody about. grounds. So we got Bloody Marys and we got salsas and pickles. What's, your, yeah, what's pick your top seller? I would say the pickles. Pickles are big, barbecue sauce is always big, and salsas are big, but people love pickles. It's, it's unbelievable. It's not as easy as people think it is. You know, they think, oh, I can do this in your home. Well, sure you can, but you can't do it on this level. Exactly. <laughs> White Lightning pickles, tell us more. We, we thought we needed something that kind of talked about Kentucky, and Kentucky is synonymous with white lightning, so when you take a sip of white lightning, it burns. Yeah. So we came up with a hot pickle, and we called it. There's no white lightning in it. Though. Well, no. I, I would love to put it in there, but, you know, it might, uh, might get people a little tipsy, you know. We, we can't have that. Well, hey, thank you so much for talking with us. I, we know about your product now, and hopefully a bunch of other people will. Thank you so much, Tim. Now, where are you guys from? I'm from Bullock County. I'm originally from Chicago. And your name? Uh, Dan, and, Dan and Teresa Scarf. Now, let me explain something. We don't have viewers of Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. We have Country Kitchen family. Of course. Okay. You understand that? And so what time's dinner? 7.30. All right, I'll be there. When we saw you guys, we <laughs> knew that you watched Country Kitchen because not only can you see us, we can see you. Touché. And what were you drinking last Saturday night? Was it last Saturday or two Saturdays ago? What was that you were drinking? Last Saturday night? Yes. When last time we were last time you were watching our show. Oh, I hate to say it, but probably a bourbon and seven up. <laughs> That's what I thought it was. It is Kentucky after it all. It is Kentucky. What's called kind of bourbon? Uh, <clears throat> what the heck was it? It's not Booker's, it's uh Basil Basil I knew I liked this guy. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, oh, yeah. That's what on I'm the kitchen counter all the time. Oh, yeah. Tell us why you like Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. Oh, I think it's creative. Uh, it has a lot of great tips. I love these guys. I'm, I'm, going, I'm very serious. Well, you, I, you can delete I can, that. I, I no. can. I make my own jams and jellies. Uh, I like your cowboy cooking segments. A lot of people like that. something I've yeah. never tried. Have, did you see our bread? you got to try the bread. Look it up on YouTube and watch our bread. What else do you like about Country Kitchen? Your better half. I like her too. Aren't and you glad her your, next better? And your mom. Yes. He's been he's been missing her. Everybody loves my mama. <laughs> okay. Four score and seven years ago. Yeah. I bought an apple pie and I ate every bit of it. And I had a belly ache for two weeks. <laughs> Who's this? This guy? 
Yeah. Yeah, who's this guy? He is, his name's Tim Farmer. Where's he from? He's from Carter County. Really? His name's Tim Farmer, what's his first name? Have you met him? Uh, <laughs> it's you! <laughs> how you doing? Tim. Tim. Oh, God. <laughs> He's, he's a... Tim's right, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Amanda, what's going on in Carter County? Everything's going on in Carter County. We have anything you would like to do. We've got live music. We've got three state parks, hiking, kayaking, caving. Hey, it's the heart of the park. It's the heart of the park. That's right. It's beautiful. I love it so much I moved from another county just to live there. So You know what? I'm looking behind you. I've been there, been there, been there. I used to, I used to run the hills up in there a bunch. Beautiful country. Thanks for talking with us and representing the heart of the parks, Carter County. Go see it. Thank you. Come and see us. Corn dogs, pizza, yum, hats. Foot walls. Oh my gosh, she'll come down there. Ice cream. Do you want you want some health food? Yeah, I want everything. But fried. Does it gotta be healthy? No. no healthy health. fried. No food? healthy stuff tonight. No, no. We're bad. not doing healthy. That's exactly bad. right. But it's gotta be good. All right, first of all, you got the John Deere machinery back here. That's cool. But what's even better is you're making ice cream. That's correct. We're making a uh, homemade ice cream. We've got about 12 different flavors. Fresh fruit in it. No artificial flavor. All the real deal. Now this is Newton's homemade ice cream. Do you travel all over the place or do you have uh, stuff on, on board in stores? No, we, uh, we only do the state fire here and uh, one other event uh, down in our hometown. This is just a hobby? Well, it is for about five or six days and after that it becomes a job. I guarantee it does. I know how that works. Well, I tell you what, tell us what's all involved here. Well, we use the John Deere hit and miss engines. They're 1936 and 1938. They're one cylinder motors. Uh, they're antique motors that's been completely redone, refurbished. Each uh, engine has two five gallon ice cream churns with it, but it's all sitting there right there. You can watch it being, being made right in front of your eyes. What is your top seller? Uh, I think banana is. Banana? Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, hey, thanks for talking with us, and we're going to go try some of your ice cream. We appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. That blueberry. <laughs> They're gonna sample us today. All right, now we want to sample chocolate. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, banana's good. Oh. oh my goodness! Thank you. Thank you very much. The next person who. Who comes up and talks to us? Let's get him on TV, okay? Good idea. Talk right as my. What's your name? Uh, Joe Livers. Joe Livers, where are you from? I'm from Louisville. What are you drinking, Joe? Bud Light. How much have you had tonight? Just a few. See this line right here? Yes, sir. I can walk in frontwards and backwards. <laughs> and then I can go fishing with you and Jim Doom any day. Let's go right now. <laughs> I could see you, man. Ice cream, kettle corn. What's our main course? Something deep fried, right? <laughs> Thank you. Hey, would you like some popcorn? What are you looking at? This horse is dead. Now again, we have our brand new season before us. We got our resting out of the way, and now it's time to go back to work. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what, we're gonna have so much fun. We have so much Kentucky stuff, so much. We're traveling a lot. We got right. some good stuff lined up, and this is probably a good time to tell you about our Facebook page. Check out Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen Facebook page and like it, see where we're going and what we're doing. Also, timfarmerscountrykitchen.com. Check out some recipes you might not have seen before in previous episodes. You know what? 
We've got so many cool things coming up this fall. We do. Some secret stuff, some secret guests, some fun stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's all about... Good times. Good friends. And good eats. We'll see you next week on Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. To order a cookbook or DVD of the show, please call 502-319-0487 or email timfarmerck at gmail.com. Special thanks to Furniture World Superstore, House Warmings, Tater Knob Pottery and Farm. Funding for Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen is brought to you by Kentucky Sheep and Goat Development Office. Try something different tonight. L81 Bottling Company. Taste, love, and share the tradition. Diamond Gusset Jeans. The original gusset jean. Careful craftsmanship. Continual improvement. Diamond Gusset Jeans. Born and worn in the USA since 1987. Hi, Tom. Hey, how's the college visit? You remember it. It's good. Does it make a short list? Yeah, I'm afraid so. Knowing our clients personally is what we do. It's OK. This is what we've been planning for. And with over 13,000 financial advisors, we do it a lot. It's why Edward Jones is the big company that doesn't act that way.